I found four powerful AI productivity tools that can completely change the way that you work online, like a tool that can scrape data from anywhere, another that can eliminate repetitive tasks forever, one that can turn any website into a chatbot, and this one that can help you find any documents or messages across all your apps. All of these tools are available on AppSumo for a limited time with lifetime offers, meaning you pay once and never have to pay again. And if you didn't know, right now AppSumo has their biggest sale of the year called Sumo Day. So if you're a software junkie like me, then this is about as big of a deal as Amazon Prime Day. And this video is sponsored by AppSumo, who lets me pick which tools I want to test out from their site. I only ever make videos of tools I would personally use and I think are worth sharing. What if you could add AI to any website? That way you could talk with it. Well, with Merlin, you can. This tool is called Merlin and it's a 26-in-1 AI extension to write, summarize, and code for you. What makes this tool pretty unique is that you can use any type of language model that you choose, like GPT-4, Claude, Llama, or even using your own OpenAI key. Merlin's a browser extension, so you can see here, you can download it from the Google Play Store for free, and it has over a million people that are currently using it with over 4.8 stars and 8,000 ratings. So this is a tool that a lot of people already use. So you can see what some of the main features of Merlin are, things like a YouTube summarizer, you can use Merlin on Twitter to create tweets for you, you can use Merlin on Google, you can access the internet with ChatGPT, you can use it in Gmail, LinkedIn, you can have it analyze docs for you, you can summarize articles, it automatically comes with GPT-4 access so you don't need to pay extra for that. And one of my favorite features is the web chat by Merlin AI. Once you've downloaded the extension, you can open it one of two ways. You can either do command M or control M, or there's this little button down here with the widget, and then it will open it up just like that. If you want to turn web access on or off, you can select that here. And right here is where you can choose whatever model you want to use. So you can see that we have a bunch of different AI models that we could choose from. So if you want to upload a document, you can, but I just want to show you one of my favorite features of Merlin, which is the chat with this web page. So if I click on chat with this web page, it's going to analyze this web page for me. And then what's pretty cool is that it will actually give you some different prompts for you to select. So either give me a summary or tell me the key points. I'm going to say, tell me the key points of this web page. So you can see that it gave me a pretty long and detailed key points for this page. And then you can see that it gives us some more options that we can choose from. So one of the follow-up questions was how does Merlin summarize YouTube videos? And then you can see that it's responded to that follow-up question telling us things like, the AI content detector, installation and usage. So not things that are very specific to YouTube summarization, which is a little disappointing. And this is a lot of text, so I just said shorten this, and now it's given me the key features of Merlin AI. So nothing to do with how it summarizes the YouTube videos, and it's probably because on the homepage, when I scroll through, I don't see them really talking about the YouTube summarization feature. But if I click on this link for the YouTube summarizer, you can see that all the details about how it summarizes the YouTube videos is on this page. So if I wanted to be able to get that information, I'd have to go to this page and then have it interact with this page and ask those questions there. Another nice feature of Merlin is the YouTube summarization. So on this video here, you can see the little Merlin widget on the right hand side, and then we can just click on summarize this video. And now what it's going to do, it's going to just summarize this whole video for us, giving us the different timestamps of when this specific thing was talked about. If I click on it, it'll actually jump to that specific section, which is pretty cool. If we want, we can even chat with the summary and it'll take it and put it into Merlin. It'll take the whole transcript and that way we can interact with this transcript directly from here as well. This is a brand new tool to AppSumo that I'm really excited about, again, because this is something that's already been validated by over a million people using it, but now it has come to AppSumo for a limited time. You can see that you can purchase the lifetime deal for this for $69. Here's everything that you get in this deal. You get lifetime access to Merlin, all future pro plan updates, no codes, no stacking, just choose the plan that's right for you. All AppSumo deals do come with a 60-day money-back guarantee. This is only for new Merlin users, so you're probably going to have to use a different email for this account. These are the different license tiers that you can choose from. You have tier one, which is $69, and that includes 5,000 credits. Tier two is 139, you get 12,000 credits, and you can even use your own API key, so that way you can save on costs if you do use up all of your credits. And then tier three, it's 259, and you get 20,000 credits per month, and you can bring your own API key as well. If you do anticipate being a heavy user, then I suggest getting tier two, that way you can use your own API key. Imagine being able to have all of the busy work you hate doing online gone forever. Well, with this tool, you can create automations to do just that. 
This is Active Pieces, and it's an open source, no code business automation software. So if you're familiar with Zapier, Make, or Pabbly, then Active Pieces is going to be very familiar to you as well. If you're not familiar with any of these tools or automation software, then what Active Pieces allows you to do is automate everything. For example, let's say you receive a text message, you can actually reply to that text message using ChatGPT, or you could write a blog on WordPress using ChatGPT. You could translate your Slack messages with ChatGPT or even post daily tweets using ChatGPT. If you're in IT operations, you could use this tool called Typeform and then be able to onboard a client on Invoice Ninja, which is that one. You could copy new files from Google Drive to Dropbox. There's also different automations for sales, marketing support. So these are just some examples of different departments that might use automations, but you can really create whatever you want using this tool. So here's showing all the different types of features that you can do within Active Pieces. So you have the builder feature, as you can see, you can click and add whatever tools you want in to this builder you have conditions now conditions is really cool because that allows you to be able to do if else or boolean type of things so if this thing is true then do this if this thing is false then do that you have loops so that way you can just loop things around so once this activity happens i want you to continue to do this thing over and over again you have different languages that you can choose from this is pretty unique. You can actually code with AI. So if you don't know how to code, but you're trying to do something, so let's say convert names to all caps, then what it'll do, it'll create the code snippet for you. And then you can put that into your automation. You have webhooks, you can use HP, and you can even write your own code directly in there. Active pieces will auto retry. So if something fails, it can try again. And then there's also versioning. So if you, let's say, updated your automation, you can go back and you can restore a previous automation that you created. You can do white labeling. So if you're an agency and you want to be able to offer this to other businesses, you can do that through active pieces as well. You can hide pieces. So let's say there was a specific tool that you did not want some users to access, you can then hide those tools. And then you have this thing called custom templates. So if you are going to be offering this to your clients, you can create an automation template for them to be able to use in their account. That way it just makes it easier for them to be able to start those automations themselves. So I'm logged into my Active Pieces account and I have this flow created, which is the Gelato Factory. So when I click on this, you can see that every minute it's going to invent a new Gelato and then it's going to email me that Gelato name. Here's what the subject of that email is going to say. It's going to say, hooray, here's the new gelato name, and that it has been invented. And then here's what the body of the email is going to say. It's going to say, breakthrough, unprecedented type of gelato has just been invented. The And then it's going to, again, create that new gelato based on this webhook that it is using. If I click on test flow, it's going to then trigger this automation to start, and then it's going to send that email to my inbox. So you can see on the left that everything has successfully been completed. And then you can see if I check my email, I received this email saying, hooray, hazelnut heaven has been invented. Breakthrough, an unprecedented type of gelato has been invented, the hazelnut heaven. And because I'm using Merlin, whenever I have an email, I can respond to these emails. And let's just say something like, I would like to taste it. And then if I like this email, I can use it. If I want, I could shorten it, improve it, simplify, lengthen it, fix any spelling. So... That's just for Merlin, but I'm just going to insert that. And now I have my email that is being sent back to Active Pieces. Active Pieces is a software that was previously sold on AppSumo, but it was taken away and is now being brought back temporarily. You can see that it has 73 reviews and the lowest tier is for $59. So with Active Pieces, you get lifetime access to it. You get all future Active Piece Cloud Pro Plan updates. Of course, you get the 60 day money back guarantee and you're also going to be grandfathered into any new feature limits. These are the different license tiers that you can choose from. You have tier one for 59, and that's going to be all the features above, plus 20 connections, 10 minute sync time for scheduled triggers, one user, 10,000 tasks per month, unlimited folders, flows, unlimited steps, and then all 181 pieces and future pieces. Tier two is 129, and you get unlimited connections. There's a five minute sync time for scheduled triggers, and then you get 50,000 tasks per month, and then for tier three, it's $239. You get one minute sync time for scheduled triggers. You have up to five users and 200,000 tasks per month. If you're constantly struggling to find information that you need across all your different applications, that's where Finder comes in. Finder is like having an assistant that can instantly pull up anything that you need, no matter where it's hiding. It connects with tools like Gmail, Slack, and Google Drive, and lets you search across all of them at once. This tool is Finder and it's AI powered answers using workplace apps. So it's an AI assistant that can answer questions, find information, write documents, all powered by your apps and workplace knowledge, eliminate repetitive questions, bloat and busy work. 
Some of the different features of Finder is that it has a universal search across all your different apps. That way you can stop searching for links and documents, gather all references about topics across your apps in one single place. You can use AI for instant answers, so you can chat with Finder to get direct responses to your questions, summarize content, compose emails, lightning fast with references to your sources. So again, it's using your data, your apps, and then it's able to pull that information. That way you can communicate with it. And then it has multi-account integrations, so that way you can easily connect and search multiple accounts in one place with Finder, so you can stop hopping between apps and accounts to find relevant information. So maybe you have two different emails, your personal and your work, and you wanted to include those into Finder, it can use those two different accounts and search the data in those. It's really easy to get started with Finder. All you need to do is to log into your account, and then it'll just ask you to connect your different applications, and then you just use the search function, and that's essentially it. There's a couple different ways that you can use Finder. One is through the web app, as you can see here, or you could also use the Finder app. So this is the Finder app. When you log into either the web or the app, you can see a very minimal search bar, and it just says search across your connected apps. Clicking on this little button down here, though, real quick, I just want to show you the different types of integrations that you can connect. So you have things like Gmail, Google Drive, Slack, Notion, Jira, Confluence, Office 365, GitHub, and Figma say that they are going to be coming soon. If you don't see an application that you use that you'd like to have integrated into Finder, you just go over to their roadmap section over here, and then you can input what Ever you'd like to see. So you can see somebody about an hour ago said that they'd like to see Obsidian Note, so the ability to find info within their Obsidian database. So you just go here, put in your request, and if enough people upvote your idea, it might get added to the roadmap for development. So let's say so I'm trying to find some information on a tool that I previously talked about. So I'm going to type in here Pabli and just see what comes up. So after about five seconds, it's pulled all the resources that are related to that keyword Pabli down here. And then we also have this little AI chat widget here that we could interact with. When I scroll down, you can see that I have different things in different places. So in my Google Drive, I have this thing called Pabli logo. I have this Word document called Pabli Connect LTD. I have another logo. And then we also have something pulling from Gmail. If I click on this one, let's say the test mail from Pabli, and then you can see that it's actually pulling up that specific email. Or if I want to open up this PNG, I can also click on this one and it's going to pull up this logo right here. Using this AI, I can ask it specific questions. So let's just say, what is the oldest resource with Pabli? So it says the context provided does not specify what the oldest resource for Pabli is. I'm just going to say, what can you help me regarding Pabli? I'm just going to say, what was my latest email from Pabli? So it says here that my latest email was test mail from Pabli. The content of the email was simply test. When I asked the chatbot, what can you help me with regarding Pabli? It gave me some just generic information around the different types of tools that Pabli has. But when I asked it, what was the latest email from Pabli? It gave me a bit more of a direct response. It says that your latest email was the test mail from Pabli. The content of the email was simply test. And that it also pulls the reference from where it's getting this information from. Because I have all these different resources regarding Pabli, let's just say I want to find only the chats. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on at filters and then only select Slack. And now I can see all my Slack messages related to Pabli. So Finder right now has 11 reviews at 5 Tacos, and it's being sold for $39 at the lowest tier. When we scroll down to see what this deal entails, you can see that it has a lifetime access to Finder, all future pro plan updates. Again, we have that 60-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out, see if you like it. If not, return it. Features included in all the plans has the AI-powered search assistant, granular access controls, it integrates with a bunch of different tools, and you are going to get all the current and future integrations as well that Finder includes. For the tier 1 plan at $39, you're going to get one user per workspace, you're going to get 1,000 searches per month, 100 chats with results per month, 5 accounts connected per workspace, and 1 workspace, as well as multiple accounts per integrations. When you upgrade to tier 2, it's $99, that way you can add 3 users, get 3,000 searches, 300 chats, 20 accounts connected per workspace, and you get two workspaces. And then if you were to, let's say, just go to the tier five plan, that'd be $799. That gives you unlimited users per workspace, unlimited searches per month, 5,000 chat with results per month, unlimited accounts connected per workspace, unlimited workspaces, multiple accounts per integration, and you can even bring your own API key. Have you ever had a task that was so simple that you wish somebody else could just do it, like clicking on a link and then copying and pasting something? Well, with Task Magic, 
You can record yourself doing it once. And just like that, the tool will create an automation that can do things like click, type, copy, and paste. So this is Task Magic, and it can help you get rid of manual tasks. Down here they say, do you ever wish Zapier or Make would just click that button or type that thing? Well, now they can, thanks to Task Magic. So they say, ask yourself, do I do something manual or repetitive on the web? Task Magic is like an automated virtual assistant. It turns your walkthrough videos into automations. If a human can do it on the web, it can be automated. No more repetitive tasks that you don't want to do. Simply record yourself doing the task once and then never do it again. So some of the different features of Task Magic, it says just like a human would, Task Magic does the clicking, typing, copying, and pasting that would normally fall on you or someone you hire. Do it once and then schedule or trigger to run whenever you want. Task Magic is filling in the gap Zapier leaves behind. Normally, you need to connect apps using Zapier, Make, or another service, but you'd be limited to the APIs that they give you, leaving behind gaps in your workflow. What if there was something they didn't have a trigger or action for? That's where Task Magic comes in. We work with and without Zapier. They say it's like cloning yourself. Task Magic is built for tasks that traditional automation tools can't handle, like clicking, typing, copying, and pasting. It's literally like you're cloning yourself. Empower yourself or give it to your virtual assistant to supercharge your output. It uses no APIs, no code, no problem. So there's many things that APIs don't cover. Task Magic doesn't need to connect to any of your APIs. Our system is as easy as pressing a record button. If a human can do it, Task Magic can automate it. And then you can also easily re-record. So don't chase down company support teams to debug and fix your flow. Simply re-record at the press of a button and a new flow will be built within minutes. When you scroll down, you can see some more features that Task Magic offers, things like looping, unlimited automations, workspaces, web scraping, Zapier, unlimited tasks, webhooks, AI workflow recommendations, tags and permissions, Google Sheets, templates, and then here's some different use cases, things like automating LinkedIn, scraping Zapier to train your AI, increasing your revenue, creating your own chatbot and reading PDFs, scraping data from a website and adding it to a bubble or other no-code site, checking your product or site for broken and links or typos automatically. So this is Task Magic, and you're going to download a desktop app to be able to use this. When you're on the homepage, just click on new automation, and then you'll have four ways that you can automate. You can either do a guided template, so you can use one of their guided templates to click, press, and try scraping different sites for leads. You can use the web, which is go through a step-by-step -step process to record your automation. You can use what are called apps, so build automations via apps like Zapier and Pabli. And then you can also use what's called desktop, so record your actions on your desktop desktop. I'm going to click on guided templates and then you can see that it's going to walk you through step by step on different ways that you can get started with task magic. When you scroll down, it'll show you some different types of automations that you can create, things like scraping. So try features like the click key press, typing to scrape for leads. So you can scrape search results from Google. You can scrape product hunt for products launching today, scrape pictures from Google, scrape businesses from Yelp, and it just gives you a bunch of different examples. You can also do content generation with task magic. So you can learn how to generate content content with the browser automation. So some examples that it shows is generate content with Perplexity AI, prompt Gemini for a response. You can also use Task Magic for LinkedIn. So send messages and interact with users on LinkedIn. So create LinkedIn connections and messages, scrape leads you want to message. You can use Task Magic for Instagram, for Facebook, for messaging. And these are just some of the different examples of ways that you can use Task Magic. So using the guided templates is going to walk you through step by step. That way you can start to become familiar with how to use Task magic. If you're feeling overwhelmed at all with task magic because it can be a little complex if you are just starting off, Jeremy Redman, who is the founder of Task Magic, has a very active YouTube channel with him showing a bunch of different use cases of how you can use Task Magic in your business. He also has a newly launched community, so if you wanted to join other people that are using Task Magic to automate their business, you can join that community as well. You can see this deal on AppSumo. It's got five tacos and 113 reviews, the lowest tier being $79. When you scroll down, you can see everything that you get, things like lifetime access to Task Magic, all future desktop plans, as well as that 60-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out for two months, see if you like it. If you don't, return it. All plans get unlimited AI workflow recommendations, unlimited automated workflows, unlimited runs per workflow, unlimited steps per workflow, Mac and PC desktop app, record in multiple tabs in the browser window, Google Sheets connection with a limited looping, and scrape up to 50,000 results at a time. On the lowest tier one plan, it's for $79. That includes one user per workspace. You get unlimited workspaces, 10 file downloads, two tags, two custom steps. If you go up to tier three for $329, you get things like unlimited users per workspace.
workspace, unlimited workspaces, unlimited file downloads, unlimited tags, unlimited custom steps, and private shared permissions. And then let's just say if you go to the tier five plan, for example, you're also going to get webhooks, active pieces, open source. So a way to be able to also interact with active pieces, one dedicated IP for cloud runs, and then six hours of cloud per month. If you want to see lifetime deals on cool new software just like these before they disappear, then turn on notifications and watch this video next to see another lifetime deal before it goes away soon.